Hello. Let me check. Let me check audio really quick. Hello, hello. Do you hear me nice and clear? Yes. 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 Teacher. Wonderful. Yes, Thank you so much. Thank you so much, everybody, for being here on time. Thank you. Uh, just let me show you the uh, what's going to be today's agenda. This is pre advanced. Okay. Um, like here we go. Thank you. Good evening. So, welcome. This is pre advanced English module number one. Um, and Mr. Palomo. And I'm going to be in charge of this module. Okay. So it's my pleasure to be here. And I will uh, do my best to help you out with this thing that is called learning English. Okay. So thank you so much for being here on time. Okay. So welcome. Thank you so much. Good evening. It's nice to have you. Okay, so uh, we're gonna have pre-advanced English module number one. Uh, let me see. Okay, thank you. Um, just a quick information about me and Mr. Palomo, as I told you before. And well, I have a bachelor degree in English and I'm an ESL teacher. Um, and well, I have the experience working with INSA4 as a facilitator. So um, also I teach in, in, in private and public schools as well. So um, well, a little bit of everything. Okay, so it's it's my pleasure to be here again, and it's nice, and it's nice to meet you. Okay, um, um, I'm gonna switch to Spanish for the following thing. As you may know, uh, we have we have this process. Yes, that is that we have at English Corporativo. We have this um, well let's say platform where you need to work and you need to do some exercises. So just take into account uh, this information so you can be like um, working at home, yes, and doing the uh, assignments, yes. So you can be, everything can be like ready based on the schedule that, that they tell you, right? But uh, esta semana, as you may know, uh, we have two sections y luego pues vamos una section per week y le agregamos un, son evaluations, ok. Entonces usted pues a este nivel que está pues ya tiene un tiempo recorrido with this uh, academy, right? So you should know how they work. Yes, ya, ya sabe cómo trabajan, right? And, and all the things that you, you gotta do. Uh, which is like uh, the activities, Yes, uh, igual en la clase se va a trabajar pues con um, the different, uh, let's say, I don't know, extra material that maybe that will help you so you can understand uh, and you can have more practice as well. Uh, with this here in the classroom, uh, I will try to do uh, a lot of practice. You know, that's that's the, my main focus. So, so you you speak here uh, uh, a lot, That's that's the purpose. Yes, and, and also at the same time, so we can, um, let's say, so I can help you to, to clarify or, or to make sure that you understand some, some topics, right? Um, entonces, recordarles lo de, la, lo de las tareas, right? Las evaluaciones, uh, pues, según la semana en la que estemos cursando. Yep. Uh, tenemos en la semana uno, pues tenemos sección uno y dos. Yes, entonces la primer week es heavy. Uh, en alguna forma, right? Porque es, es a lot of material, let's say, uh, and somehow some exercises. Pero pues, um, en la semana uno tenemos um, la section one and la section two. En la section semana dos tenemos la section three y creo que hay un midterm ahí. Y luego tenemos um, la semana tres. Pues me enviaron esta información. Tengo entendido que hay como es la primera parte también del examen final. Creo que les agregan algo ahí, ¿verdad? 
Entonces, uh, I, I don't know eh, en eso, pero sí me enviaron esto y pues dice solo section 4. Hasta donde sea, sí creo que hay otras asignaciones para esta semana como evaluaciones. But, um, eh, igual tenemos la section number 5 para la semana number 4. Section 5 y, y pues un final exam. Sí. Uh, esto con respecto a las semanas. Son cuatro semanas el curso. Y es y tomar en cuenta las asignaciones e, y las fechas, right? So, yeah, so you can have it ready. Uh, las normas de convivencia, pues usted ya la sabe, right? El botón de silencio. Uh, en el caso pues que ya participar, levanta la mano y con gusto se le da la participación. Yep. O pues en la mayoría de casos siempre yo digo un nombre y le pido participación, right? Yeah, that's, that's the way I do it. Uh, la lista de asistencia, pues según el programa, right, eh, yo voy a tomar la asistencia uh, por ahí como, después, como a las ocho y media. Right? I will take the attendance at the time. Y es como a las ocho y media, pues ya todos están acá, la paso rapidito y luego we move on. Ok, a pedirle siempre su nombre completo, ¿verdad? Eh, esto para, pues, para cada una de las sesiones, eh, la cámara encendida. Yes, um, desde el principio hasta el final, por favor. Y uh, la participación activa, si sí, pues en el caso tengan inconvenientes pues con la conexión o, o no sé, pues con el internet, pues igual me notifica, ¿verdad? En el chat para yo poder pues, uh, pues, pues tomar en, en cuenta eso. Right. Um, eh, el uso de los chats, sí pedirles el uso del chat, right, que sea solo para pues lo relacionado a lo académico. Y es questions and things like that. Uh, so you can tell me. Um, igual levantar la mano. Como les comentaba, si quiere participar, levanta la mano y con gusto pues se le asigna eh, su participación. Y, y siempre pues mantener el respeto, ¿verdad? De, de los compañeros, eh, tanto de las participaciones, así como pues. Uh, pues el tiempo asignado a cada uno de ellos. ¿Sí? Um, ¿Qué más tenemos en Spanish? Uh, pues tenemos lo de la asistencia al curso. Pues... Um, pues ahí está la asistencia, el 80% ¿verdad? de las clases, el avance, eh, pues el desarrollo en la plataforma. Y es uh, estar siempre atentos al, al, al time, ¿sí? De cierre de... Pues, del, de las asignaciones pues iniciamos el 28 de agosto y terminamos pues, el 21 de septiembre sí. uh, este módulo el horario pues es siempre de 8 a, a 9 vamos a tener una hora sí. eh, y pues tenemos lo de la cámara pues uh, encendida right. desde el principio hasta el final please. Eh, la clase pues dura 60 minutos 6 uh, minutes Um, sí pedirle si tienen algún comentario o alguna sugerencia, pues es bienvenida, right? Eh, pedirle que lo hagamos siempre al principio de la clase, pues ya que al final, pues, eh, pues tengo otra clase después. Entonces, sí se me hace un poquito difícil uh, poder apoyarles en alguna duda que tengan al final de la clase. Yes. Uh, igual trabajar siempre, ¿verdad? Los ejercicios de la plataforma, eh, según pues eh, las asignaciones, según la semana. Y... Um, pues para que al final obtenga su diploma. Sí, uh, igual felicitarlos eh, pues por este sacrificio que están haciendo. Yo, yo sé que es, que es difícil, ¿verdad? Y si están acá, pues pedirles uh, pues uh, el esfuerzo, ¿verdad? Y, y la dedicación eh, correspondiente para, pues, uh, para su aprendizaje. Sí, entre más usted se comprometa con su aprendizaje, pues es, es su tiempo y es el que está pues acá y, y pues sé que si, si lo han tomado pues es porque pues uh, van a estar ahí siempre atentos a cada una de las asignaciones verdad y de las participaciones que se les pidan durante la clase vamos a empezar con la section number one that's what frames are for uh, we're going to start with relative pronouns as subjects so that's the first thing we are going to work yes uh, This is pre-advanced English module number one, and this is class number one. Before uh, we get into this thing, I don't know if you have any question. Let me know. 
any question about like I don't know the schedule or anything like that. Everything is awesome. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. Um, let's begin. I have some questions for you before we. Uh, we're gonna have double H questions and yes no questions. Okay, so uh, Jenny, hello Jenny, good evening. It's nice to meet you. Good evening, teacher. Nice to meet you too. Thank you so much. Uh, please. Um, questions one, um, two and three. Please. Um, tell me. Uh, where do you live? Uh, what do you do? Why are you studying English? Oh, thank you. Answer those three questions, please. Thank you. Do you speak any other language? Are you married? Do you have any children? Thank you so much, Jenny. Uh, yes, I need you to answer answer this question, Jenny. Number one, number two, and number three, please. Excuse the me. The question and the answer. Yes, read the question and give mm -hmm. me your answer, please. Okay. Where do you live? I live in Soyapango. What do you do? Um, I'm work in uh all day. I work and I'm studying English at the at the night. Uh, why are you studying English? I'm studying English online. Thank you so much. Oh. Yes, my mic. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry. Um, okay, that was very nice. You have a few mistakes on your answers, and I want you to listen to your classmates so you can figure it out what are those little things that you need to fix, okay? Giovanni, hello, Giovanni. Good evening. It's nice to meet you. Hey, hello, good evening. Uh, nice to meet you too. My pleasure. Do me a favor, read the questions one, two, and three and answer, please. Thank you. I'm sure, no worries. Where do you live? Uh, actually, I live in Hoyos, Sonsonate City. What do you do? Um, I'm studying at the university. Why are you studying English? Actually, when I read this question, it uh, made me ponder something about it because it's really important. This. <laughs> and actually, I believe that um, learning a new language is it's important. Because we're not able to learn all things. And every single day, we need to continue learning. And as in Spanish, I believe that we're, I'm not able to do all words and all grammatical things. And and that's why I'm learning English. Because uh, I want to improve my English level. And that's why. Thank you. So basically, in number two, you are a student. Yep. Oh, okay. Perfect. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Okay. Thank you. It's my pleasure. No worries. Nice to meet you. Uh, my pleasure. Marlene, too. Elizabeth. Hello. Good evening. How are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you. Please read question one, two, and three and answer those, please. Okay. Um, where do you live? I live in San Salvador. And um, what do you do? I'm not working yet. I just taking care for my children. And why are you studying English? I study English because I want to to find a really good job for can keep my family. Thank you. That sounds pretty amazing. Yes. Yeah. And everything you're doing is working. Okay. So everything you're doing paid off. Okay. So keep doing it like that. It's just. You will get that for sure. Jose, Lino, Alvarenga, nice to meet you. Uh, questions one, two, and three, please. Read those and give me your answers. Okay, nice to meet you too. Where do you live? I live in Lourdes, Colón. What do you do? I, I am working in Pumalapa in AMSP. Why are you studying English? It's a, was a dream for me and the children. 
it's uh, the best opportunity to speak to other people in USA, England, etc. Yes, teacher. That's quite interesting, um, Lino. That's quite interesting. Yeah. Um, just just to be sure, in question number two, what's your profession or occupation? <laughs> I I teach in students future uh, officer officers oh. police. Oh, now now I understand because I I heard that Comalapa, right? Yes. So there is like a building where they um. Uh, get trained over there oh okay yes. yeah that's wonderful my respect to you okay because okay. that's a that's a Thank heavy you. job yeah it's, it's not an easy you. thing yeah so um yeah my respect okay uh Thank sarah you. elisa good evening hello how are you good evening i'm good oh that's wonderful well, uh, where do you live well i live in uh, tecoluca san vicente um, I'm a I'm a student, and I'm learning English because I want to get a better job opportunities, and also because um I want to communicate with communicate with people uh, from different countries. Yes, I hope I hope that you can get a better job because everything is expensive outside, right? Uh, that's unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you get just three tortillas per. A quarter, so that's unbelievable. Yeah, so I hope everybody, all of you, can get a better job. Okay, because <laughs> it's like, or oh, or at least you can improve your salary. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah, that would be good. Uh, Karen, Yvette, hello, Karen. Good evening. How are you? Excuse me, I don't hear you very well. Uh, what about the rest? Do you hear? Do you hear? Uh, Karen, yes? No, nope, same issue. I think it's your mic, uh, Karen. I'm sorry. Because okay. the volume is, I mean, the sound is, comes very, like, low volume. In this? Oh, yeah. that's better. That's better, Karen. Okay. Okay. Uh, where do you live? I live in Soyapanko. What do you do? I am playing the golf and the from the sports department. Why are you studying English? I need to learn English and speak more with my my employee. Okay. Well, that sounds pretty Thank good. You. Sounds pretty good. Thank you so much for just a quick question here in number two. What's your profession or occupation? I am psychology. Oh, that's amazing. Yes, Look at that. Yes, yeah. <laughs> that's heavy, right? As well. I mean, yes, yeah, it's, it's not an easy job. Yeah, that's 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 pretty much quite heavy. Thank you so much for sharing that. Thank you, teacher. Um, perfect. Thank you. It's nice to meet you. It's my pleasure. Okay. Um, let me see who else is missing. Um, Carla. Hello, Carla. Selena. Oh, I love your name. Okay, because it's Selena, but I, I have another student with that name, but it's with S. And yes, yes. that's quite interesting, okay? Because uh, I'm like wondering, oh, how, what's the correct what's the correct way to write it? Because it's like with C or with S? I don't know. C, but <laughs> okay. the correct is S. Oh, but you got it with C, right? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Okay, Uh, questions one, two, and three, but with yes, no questions, please. Thank you. One, two, three. Yes, no questions. Okay. Ah, okay. Uh, do you speak any other language? No, I don't speak any other language. Only Spanish. <laughs> I try to learn English. Oh, that Spanish is my favorite. It's my favorite. Okay. <laughs> Spanish. Me too. Uh, are you married? No, I don't marry. Uh, do you have any children? No, I don't have any children. Very good. Remember that this is like with birth to be. Are you married? Okay. Okay. I don't, I, okay, I'm not married. Exactly. Very good. Wonderful. Thank yeah. You. Uh, my pleasure. Okay. It's nice to meet you. Uh, wonderful. Yes. Let me see who's missing. Oscar. Hello, Oscar. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Oh, it's my pleasure. How are you? 
Uh, I'm fine. Um, sounds, sounds great. Okay. Can you help me out with questions? Yes, no questions. One, two, and three, please. Okay, okay. Do you speak any other language? Uh, I speak uh, Spanish, uh, Italian medium, um, English. Okay. Sounds great. Okay. Are you married? Uh, yes, I'm married. <laughs> like, ah, oh, yes, okay. It sounds, it sounds, it sounds like that. Okay. Oh, okay. 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 <laughs> Do you know about that? <laughs> okay, keep, keep working. I'm sorry. No comment. No comment. <laughs> I'll think about it. Do you have any gender uh, right now? No, no. Thank you so much for sharing. Okay. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Edgar. Hello, Edgar. Good evening. Uh, good evening, teacher. Glad to meet you. Uh, my pleasure. Okay. Do me a favor. Yes, no questions. One, two, and three, please. Okay. Um, do you speak any other language? Um, no, um, only Spanish. Are you married? <laughs> no, I'm lucky. <laughs> I mean, do you have any children? Um, no, no. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, lucky, right? Yeah. Oh, that's good. That's good. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, Maria Santos Lopez. Hello, Maria Santos Lopez. Good evening. Can you participate? Yes. Yes or no? Tell me. Okay, I will move on with Roberto Eduardo Escamilla. Hello, Roberto. Good evening. Hey, good evening, teacher. How are you? Everything is awesome. Tell me, please. Questions? Yes, no questions. One, two, and three. Okay. Um, the first one, do you speak any other language? Um, not right now, but I will. I want to speak in the future French. Wonderful. But, but I'm going to be step by step. You know? So right now... I... First this, and then the other one, right? <laughs> right now, I want to... I need to speak English, you know. I uh, I wanna so you can get to New York, right? Yeah, yeah. you can get to New York. Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> yes, in the, yes. In the, in the future, maybe. Uh, the second one: Are you married? Uh, no, I am not married, but I have my beautiful girlfriend, and I yeah. stay with her, and I love her, and she's front to me right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's why that's why okay okay well played well played uh, yeah yeah uh the third one is do you have any children uh yes i have two boys you know um one uh one of those have uh uh 15 years old and another one uh have a uh let me see uh 18 years old um yeah that's that's all so yes. one one of them one of them is is right is oh, okay mm -hmm. perfect don't forget that that tiny thing a verb to be believe me it's a headache it's yeah. a headache it's yeah. pan dulce con cafe and sometimes we forget thank you so much for sharing wonderful okay. Okay. it's nice thank to meet you, you. Nice michelle you. beatriz diaz guzman Hello, Michelle. Good evening. Thank you. Please help me. Questions? Uh, yes, no questions. One, two, and three, please. Okay. Where do you live? I live in Morazan. What do you do? I am a student of theology. Why are you studying English? Because I like the language. Thank you. That sounds pretty amazing, right? Yes. If you like it, that's wonderful. Yeah. Because everything like you love, you get it really quick. Thank you so much. It's nice to meet you. Okay. It's my pleasure. And I will try to help you as much as possible in here. Okay. Uh, let's carry on with this information here. Okay. So questions. Uh, what do you think? Carla, Selena, Hernandez, question for you. What do you think women look for most in a partner. 
Do you understand the question? One more time. What do you think women look for most in a partner? I think so. Maybe the men's. Okay. I mean, women, women, like, what, what do they look for when they want to get a partner? Like, for example, if you're looking for a partner, let's say, what, what is the, the, like, the characteristics or what are the things that you think, oh, I want this and this and this? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, I think so the um, intelligent. Okay. Passion, oh. passionado. Oh, I, I get it. I get it. You don't have to translate. Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay. Um, confident. Oh, that's good, right? That's good. Yes. Okay. Um, don't know. No, I don't know. <laughs> okay. Because I asked you, because you were, you told me you were single, right? So, um, yes, also, Sara, Elisa, Belloso. Are you single? Yes or no? Correct. Yes. Okay, yes. same questions to you. What do you think women look for most in a partner? Um maybe if uh, he is responsible, uh romantic. Oh that's, uh, well, that's a good one, right? <laughs> romantic, yeah. Um, yeah. Don't miss that. Um, okay. Uh I don't know, only that. Okay, thank you. Giovanni, question for you. What what do men look for most in a partner? That's a good question. And uh, I cannot answer you for all for men, right? Yes, I can say it my personal opinion. <laughs> Probably this is my thoughts, not for all the rest. But actually, personally, I, I so love when someone take, take care and and pay attention to all things that we were saying. And that is one of the most important things, personally, right? Pay attention. Um, uh, and I so love uh, the modesty. I so love when they try to, to show that they are beautiful, but not showing the body. It's with the feelings, with showing the thoughts, ideas, charisma, and and I still love modesty. I love that they take care for us. And personally, in this situation for me, right? That they pay attention to all things that I'm saying to her. And um, and actually I believe that our belief too. I still love when they all uh, have the same belief that I have, that they believe in God. This is me, right? <laughs> That's why I tell you. I cannot say the same for all the rest. This Thank you for sharing that. That's very kind. Yeah, that's good. that's very kind. Yeah, I hope you can find someone like like that. Somebody else told me that was single. Who was that? I think that was um who was that? Um that was you, Edgar? Yes? No? I don't remember exactly. I'm sorry. Yeah, I think it was another boy. Okay, I'm sorry. Let's move on here. Uh help me out, please, uh Jenny Carolina. Are done. Hi, it's nice to meet you. My pleasure. Okay. Do me a favor, please read the information that is in the screen. Uh, read the 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 paragraph. Uh, yes, this information that we have here. Like, read this one. In that is your, on the screen. In your opinion, in which no the, the information. Romance and marriage in the United States. With choosing, where is the pronunciation? Uh, like yes. that one, choosing. Choosing a spouse, spouse or a spouse or partner. Single Americans want to find something, someone with um, the similar ideas about having and raising children. A, a steady job. The same beliefs, uh, the less uh, as much education, the same back background. Thank you so much. 
Okay, uh, Karen, Yvette, Villanueva, you see this picture here? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Can you do me a favor and describe the picture? Thank you. Um, the, the picture describes the romance and marriage in the United States and the character, character the um, in part for the other partners. What is the question, teacher? Oh, this picture. Help me out describing this picture. Like, I what are they wearing? Like, Where are um, they? How do they look like? Uh, they are smile. And maybe so are partners. And the friends. <laughs> I don't know, teacher. Stay very happy. Okay. How How is the weather in the picture? It's raining, teacher. Okay. And where are they? In the maybe in the in the, no, in the street or. Yeah. What's the boy wearing? The umbrella. Wearing the umbrella and jacket and jeans. Yes, what about the girl? What's she wearing? Mm, is very is, um happy. Okay, thank you. And what about her clothes? What is she wearing? She uh, wear the jeans, the green jeans, and the jacket and shirt. Just. Thank you so much. Very good. Okay. okay. Thank you. So here we have this like information, right, from people in the United States. All right. Um, we have the percentage as well here. Uh, question for you, Lino. Uh, in your opinion, this is the question for you. In your opinion. Which of the things above are most important to look for a partner? Uh, in my opinion, is the best, the best uh, use uh, the woman is a dress, it's a feminine, no similar men's, the woman dress uh, for me is better use a dress okay i'm sorry excuse me i'm sorry like like for example we have these options here right similar ideas about having or raising the children a steady job the same belief uh, at least as much education and background right uh we have five options here yes alina so in your opinion which of these things five options are most important to look for a for in a partner like which one of these five like in your opinion is more important like you can say oh this one is for me hello Lino? maybe similar ideas about having and uh, raising children okay Thank you so much for sharing that. Okay. Uh, question um, for you, Marlene, Elizabeth Barahona. Excuse me. I'm sorry. Uh, this is the question for you. Did any of the items surprise you? These items mm -hmm. here, right? These ones here. Did any of the items surprise you? Like you were like shocked about it? Mm, no. Because I think that um all the items are important for for the relationship. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Okay, Blanca. Hello, Blanca. Good evening. It's nice to have you. Hello, Chair. Good evening. Uh, thank you. Uh, the last question is for you. Are there other important qualities missing from the list that you think um that, that women like 
look for in a partner? And maybe man has goals in the future. Tell me why, please. That's important for you. Okay. And for me, it's important because in future we are going to, I don't know, fight and achieve our goals together and working together about, I don't know, maybe buy a house or get married in the future. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Okay. Thank you so much for your participation on this one. Um, Roberto, question for you. Okay. <laughs> question for you. Like, tell me your, your thoughts. What do you think of online dating? Excuse me. Can you repeat again? I'm sorry, teacher. Oh, what do you think of online dating? Uh, you mean uh, what I do when I stay in online? Or... No, like dating, like dating. Do you know what is the meaning of dating? Dating and uh, I forgot that teacher. Like Can a you... date, when you have a date with a girl. Oh, a date. Mm -hmm. oh, but this okay. is online. What do you think about like online dating? I think uh, that's a, a good uh, tool. And I think uh, right now everybody need to stay online and everybody need a, a stay uh, or everybody need a internet. Uh, so I think uh, that is a good tool and everybody uh, have a for example uh, Facebook or or Instagram TikTok and I think that is a a, a good a good technology uh, right now you know maybe okay. in the future is gonna be different maybe in, uh, we're gonna have uh, in the future another tools or better tools Yep. Yes, teacher. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, yes. Thank you. That's very good. Hey, Sarah, Elisa, same question to you. Right? What do you think of online dating? Does it work? Uh, I think not, not always maybe work because when they uh, meet uh, online, then um, and they uh, meet Maybe they don't like uh the physique of the other one or the some um char characteristics, and I think uh the majority of time doesn't work, but uh is something that um I don't know is popular, something like that. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's wonderful. Yeah, Roberto was mentioning about like. Nowadays, does everybody everybody has like a computer or like an account on social media? That's that's why. Thank you, Jenny. Same question to you, right? Give me your thoughts. Okay, what do you think of online dating? Does it work? I I think it's a good option when I don't have time to to stay with face to face. With the people, and um, I, I have um, meeting with my family. My family live in the United States, and I connect with my family in in the meeting online. Thank you. You're very nice because you went astray with your family, right? That's that's something else. Okay. Thank you so much. We're sharing that. Okay, we're gonna have a little bit of um, practice. Let me show you really quick. Okay, um, we're gonna have, oh, Giovanni, you got a question? Yes, sir. Tell me. <laughs> okay, actually I came late. I really do apologize, but I think that that was not um, so late. But I was wondering, hey, what's your name, teacher? Actually, we, we were introducing ourselves, but we didn't know about you. Oh yes, I, I show you at the beginning of the video. I'm I'm like um okay, let me get back really quick. 
I'm okay. so sorry. No, that's okay. No problem. Okay. Um, this is me, right? It's not a big deal. You know, it's not something like huge. Okay. So I'm last. I'm Mr. Palomo, and I'm an ESL teacher. Well, and I work like as a facilitator. Right. I have got a bachelor degree in English, and pretty much what I do is I teach English. Right. Different modules, different places, <laughs> and then that's the way I got. I I do a living. Yeah. So um, I teach English. And it's my pleasure to be here. Okay. Thank uh, you. Okay. Okay. Quick, quick question regarding that. When you said Mr. Palomo, that is a nickname or that is your real name? No, that's yes, my last it's... name. Palomo oh, that, that's your last name. name. Exactly. Oh, and remember, okay. in English, we use Mr. just with last names. Okay. Oh, okay. okay. Good. That's why I got it like that. And okay. also because usually uh, when you go to the U.S., uh, teachers over there, they just are called by their last names, Mr. or Mrs., right? Uh, so that's why I do it like that. Okay. That's okay, what I do cool. it like that. Okay. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. So I got these three questions. Uh, what is Roy doing? Who does Joe suggest? Um, and how will Roy meet her? So uh, think about these three questions. I will play the audio. What I want you to do is listen, write the record, and then so we can answer these three questions. Just let me double check the audio so we can have it clear. Yes. Here we go. Jesus, my gosh, I forgot. I need to tell the attendance. I apologize. Okay. Really quick. Uh, Alejandro Jose Lopez. Uh, Alejandro Jose Lopez. Okay. Jesus, better. Give me a minute. Give me a minute because I got the wrong. I got the wrong list. Okay. Okay. Okay, it's not this one. Oh, okay, here we go. Sorry, I got the wrong names, that's why. Okay. Okay, uh, let me see. Yes, here we go. Uh, Blanca Maria Gonzalez Urias. Present. Thank you, nice to have you. Edgar Fernando Portillo. Present, teacher. Wonderful, nice to have you. Giovanni Stanley Flores Salazar. I'm here. Perfect, thank you. Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. Janet Carolina Rivera Villanueva. No, she isn't. Jose Lino Alvarenga Gomez. Thank you so much for being here. Eh, Karen Elizabeth Bernard de Avilar. Karen Elizabeth Bernard de Avilar. Karen Yvette Villanueva Guzmán. Thank you so much. Carla Selena Hernandez Guevara. Present, teacher. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Maria Santos Lopez Lopez. Maria Santos Lopez Lopez. She's writing in the chat. Oh, okay. Please write in the chat. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, Marlene Elizabeth Valle Barahona. Present, teacher. Wonderful. Nice to have you. Michelle Beatriz Diaz. Present. Thank you so much for being here. Neftali Antonio Mejia Miranda. Present teacher. Wonderful. Nice to have you. Olga Marleni Gomez Rios. Olga Marleni Gomez Present Rios. Teacher. Thank you so much, Olga. Welcome. Present teacher. My pleasure. Oscar Thank Alexander you. Santana Reyes. Present teacher. Thank you, gentlemen. Nice to have you. Roberto Eduardo Escamilla. Present teacher. Wonderful. Nice to meet you. Nice Sara to meet you. Sara Elisa Belloso Hernandez. Present. Thank you so much. Good evening. Wendy Cecilia Molina Rosales. Wendy Cecilia Molina Rosales. And Jenny Carolina Ardon Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you so much. Okay. I'm sorry for teacher. that. Cause I, cause I, Jenny. Disculpe, eh, no sé si contestó Karen Bernal. Oh, let me check, let me check really quick. Eh, Bernal, Karen, Karen. Karen Elizabeth Bernal de Aguilar. Eh, fíjese que ella me escribió porque éramos compañeras en el curso anterior uh -huh, uh -huh. y me comentaba que estaba ingresada, que por eso no oh. iba a poder estar. Eh, creo que solo de oyente se iba a conectar, pero oh, me imagino I'm que sorry. no pudo. 
Okay. Uh, tell her that she needs to send a message to the people that is in charge of this module so they can uh, help her with this issue. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much for sharing that. And I'm sorry to hear. I hope she can get, she can get better soon. Okay. Because that's not good. Being sick is, is not good. Okay. So I'm sorry to hear that. Um, thank you so much for letting me know. Okay, dokie. So let's get back to these uh, three questions. I will play the audio. So you listen and try to answer these three questions. Conversation. What are you looking for? Part A. Listen and practice. What are you doing? I'm setting up my profile for this online dating site. I have to describe the kind of person I'm looking for. I see. And what are you looking for? Well, I like people who aren't too serious and who have a good sense of humor. You know, someone I can have fun with. Okay. Uh, what else? Well, I'd like someone I have something in common with, who I can talk to easily. I think I know just the girl for you. My cousin Lisa. She's a lot of fun, and she loves sports, just like you. Well, why not? I'll give it a try. Okay. I'll invite her over for dinner, and you can tell me what you think. You got the audio, or you want to hear it one more time? Yes, one more teacher. One, time. Time, please. one, more, one time, more time, please. Perfect. Please. Here we go. Conversation. What are you looking for? Part A. Listen and practice. What are you doing? I'm setting up my profile for this online dating site. I have to describe the kind of person I'm looking for. I see. And what are you looking for? Well, I like people who aren't too serious and who have a good sense of humor. You know, someone I can have fun with. Okay. Uh, what else? Well, I'd like someone I have something in common with, who I can talk to easily. I think I know just the girl for you. My cousin Lisa. She's a lot of fun, and she loves sports, just like you. Well, why not? I'll give it a try. Okay. I'll invite her over for dinner, and you can tell me what you think. Okay. Let's try number one. What is Roy doing? Any he, idea? He sent, sent the profile to dating site. Beautiful. Yes, very good. So, like, he's setting, right? Like, an online profile. Very good. That's wonderful. What about Joe's suggestion? Uh huh. Who does Joe suggest? He suggests his uh, cousin Lisa. Beautiful. His cousin Lisa. Very good. And what about the number three? How will Roy meet her? We're going to to they meet her him. by dinner. By they dinner. See at dinner. Exactly right. So a uh, Joe will invite her. Yeah, yeah. For dinner. Oh, that's wonderful. Good strategies, right? Keep in mind those. Yeah. So that that's that's good. That's good. Conversation. Okay. So uh, here we have the answers. Very good. Great job. Yes. Wonderful. Conversation. Um. Now let's listen. This one. Roy likes girls who. That is the thing, and I need you to listen the audio so you can get what is the rest of the, this thing. Let's listen. Conversation. What are you looking for? Part A. Listen and practice. What are you doing? I'm setting up my profile for this online dating site. I have to describe the kind of person I'm looking for. I see. And what are you looking for? Well, I like people who aren't too serious and who have a good sense of humor. You know, someone I can have fun with. Okay. Uh, what else? Well, I'd like someone I have something in common with, who I can talk to easily. I think I know just the girl for you. My cousin Lisa. She's a lot of fun, and she loves sports, just like you. Well, why not? I'll give it a try. Okay. I'll invite her over for dinner, and you can tell me what you think. 
Okay, one more time. So Roy likes girls who, I will play the audio one more time, and you look for those adjectives that describe the girl he wants to uh, meet. Conversation. What are you looking for? Part A. Listen and practice. What are you doing? I'm setting up my profile for this online dating site. I have to describe the kind of person I'm looking for. I see. And what are you looking for? Oh, well, I like people who aren't too serious and who have a good sense of humor. You know, someone I can have fun with. Okay. Uh, what else? Well, I'd like someone I have something in common with, who I can talk to easily. I think I know just the girl for you. My cousin Lisa. She's a lot of fun, and she loves sports, just like you. Well, why not? I'll give it a try. Okay. I'll invite her over for dinner, and you can tell me what you think. Thank you. Giovanni, tell me, please. Roy likes girls who... Aren't um, too serious, um, that has sense of humor, that they're fun, and... Actually, he was looking for someone who has uh, something in common. Perfect. Thank you so much. Yes? Wonderful. Conversation. We're going to have a conversation like this one. Tell me, please, uh, Marlene Elizabeth Valle. Can you describe this picture here, please? What do you see? Where are they? What are they doing? What are they wearing? Um, They are maybe watching the, some homework. I don't know. And they wearing a t-shirt and they are in the university, for example. And the other guys uh, wear a white t-shirt um, or t-shirt white and a black pants. It's a white t-shirt. The first the color and then the object mm -hmm. okay how's the weather is a is a sunny uh -huh. it's like the brand sunny. Soleado. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. exactly i'm sorry i don't remember that's okay no problem okay so i'm going to play the audio i want you to listen and then we're going to practice really quick this conversation conversation what are you looking for? Part A. Listen and practice. What are you doing? I'm setting up my profile for this online dating site. I have to describe the kind of person I'm looking for. I see. And what are you looking for? Well, um, I like people who aren't too serious and who have a good sense of humor. You know, someone I can have fun with. Okay. Uh, what else? Well, I'd like someone I have something in common with, who I can talk to easily. I think I know just the girl for you. My cousin Lisa. She's a lot of fun, and she loves sports, just like you. Well, why not? I'll give it a try. Okay. I'll invite her over for dinner, and you can tell me what you think. Thank you so much. Eh, Karen Villanueva and Edgar Fernando Portillo, please. Uh, you are Joy and Karen, you are uh, Roy. Okay, Edgar, you got it? Okay, teacher. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Wonderful. Please go ahead. Uh, what are you doing? I'm sitting up my profile so I can I have to describe the time I'm looking for. Um, I see. Uh, what are you looking for? Oh, I like people who aren't too serious and have a problem. Okay, um, what else? Okay, um, what else? Well, I think I know just the girl for you. My cousin Lisa, she's a lot of fun and she loves sports just like you. 
Well, why not? Okay, I'll invite her over for dinner and you can tell me what you think. Thank you so much. Very good. Jose Lino, you're going to be Joe. Your partner is going to be um, Oscar. Oscar, you're going to be Roy. Ready? Let's begin, please. What are you doing? Hello, Oscar. Can you participate? Okay, let's work with, let me see, uh, Giovanni. Thank you, Giovanni. You're Roy. Carry on. Okay. What are you doing? I'm setting up my profile for this online dating site. I have to describe the kind of person I'm looking for. I see. And what are you looking for? Um, I like people who are into serious and who have a good sense of humor. You know, someone I can have fun with. Okay. Um, what is? Well, I like someone I have something in common with who I can talk to easily. I see. I know just the girl for you. My cousin Lisa. She's a lot of funny, of fun, and she loves sport just like you. Well, why not? I'll give it a try. Okay. I invited her over for dinner, and you can tell me what you think. Thank you so much. Very good. Wonderful. Just let me check something really quick. Oh, you did a really nice job. Everything is good. Okay. Um, okay. Thank you. Um, we're going to have this part B of this um, listening section. Okay. What I want you to do is like... Conversation. Uh, we have uh, this question. Uh, what did Roy think of her? That is the rest of the conversation. I'm going to play the audio twice. So you listen and answer this question. Okay. So the question is, what did Roy think of her? Remember that we're working with uh, like uh, Joe Cousins, right? Uh, yeah, Lisa. Okay. Uh, yeah, I think it's Cousins. Okay, ready. Let's listen. Page two. Exercise two. Part B. Listen to Joe and Roy discuss Lisa after they had dinner together. What did Roy think of her? So, what did you think of Lisa? Well, I was worried at first, especially when I saw that she rode a motorcycle. I thought she might be one of those girls who was into heavy metal music and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But she's pretty normal, right? Yeah, and she's smart and funny and very pretty, too. I knew you'd like her. Yeah, I do. She's my kind of girl. So are you two gonna get together again? I hope so. I got her number, and I'll text her tomorrow. Do you think she liked me? I think so. She seemed to be having a good time, too. But I guess you're gonna have to get in touch with her and find out. Page 2. Exercise 2. Part B. Listen to Joe and Roy discuss Lisa after they had dinner together. What did Roy think of her? So, what did you think of Lisa? Well, I was worried at first, especially when I saw that she rode a motorcycle. I thought she might be one of those girls who was into heavy metal music and stuff like that. You know what I mean? But she's pretty normal, right? Yeah, and she's smart and funny and very pretty, too. I knew you'd like her. Yeah, I do. She's my kind of girl. So are you two gonna get together again? I hope so. I got her number, and I'll text her tomorrow. Do you think she liked me? I think so. She seemed to be having a good time, too. But I guess you're gonna have to get in touch with her and find out. Uh, that was very nice. That was very nice, right? Yeah. So, Jenny, tell me your answer, please. Uh, he's, 
think uh, Lisa is smart, funny, and very uh, and pretty, Spice. but uh, she's like the motorcycle and the metal music. That's good, yeah. Are, are they going to like uh, meet one more time? Jenny? No. No, probably? Oh, no. no, probably, I, think, no. I think yes. I think that's a positive. That's a possibility, yeah. Uh, so, because Roy liked her. So, liked her. That's very good. Thank you so much, Jenny. And thank you so much, people, for being here. Okay, uh, time is over. We will see you tomorrow with another English class. Thank you so much. Have a nice uh, rest of the day. Enjoy it. And good night. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Take care. Good night, nice to meet you. Hi, everyone. Good night. Nice to meet you, teacher. Thank you so much for the class, Mr. Palomo. My pleasure.